friends, it's Star Thrifter, and I wanted to do this uh, quick video for you today in regards to was turning off returns, doing no returns, was it worth it? We know how frustrating returns are, and this is in regards to eBay. Anyhow, um, was it worth it? I have to say no. It wasn't worth it. It was really gratifying, really satisfying as far as uh, to finally click that button and say no return, especially after, you know, if you've gotten, you know, quite a few returns. I sell clothing, and if you sell clothing, there's always returns, you know, of non-fit or they change their mind or they don't like it and things like that. Anyhow, for a while there, it seems like I was just getting like a ton of returns. You can see some of my other old videos if you'd like. You can click on subscribe and, um, you know, check out the old videos in regards to some of the returns. But anyways, I finally just had had it. And I clicked on no returns. That's it. None. No returns. To see how it would go. It As gratifying and satisfying as that was, it made the sales tank. I mean, they just tanked. You know, and, and it's when you're selling on a platform, they some platforms have certain guidelines of what they would like. And eBay has many. And it's kind of like it's not like they they're choosing favoritism, really. What it is, is that they have certain guidelines. And if you're following those guidelines, then maybe it's telling you that you need to follow those guidelines to have more sales. I do not know. But you kind of have to play by their suggestions, you know, and play by their rules. You know, when it's um, really important things. But anyhow, in regards to it with clothing, you do have to have returns. But I was just getting really flustered for a while. Quite a while ago, I had turned on free returns. And I did 30-day, and I did 60-day, and then I did 30-day, and things like that. Because, And when I first did that, it really increased my sales. I noticed a difference. Um, I did that quite some time ago. However, since that time, and with this and doing the no returns, I had win a few times where a buyer, you know, uh, pays for return, and then I went to that no return, no returns. Well, I, I did turn off the no returns and started accepting returns again, but right now, I think all of them are still set at buyer pays return. Does that increase probably some of your sales? Probably, probably a little bit. Because it's not exactly what eBay is suggesting. They really want to see that free return, you know, thing there. But with clothing, you know, you can really get flooded with a lot of it. The only thing is, is that when you have, um, you know, buyer paying return or no return, either no returns, either one, you may have a chance of getting more of item not as described. And those are the ones that you absolutely do not want to get on your account if you're not real up and familiar with it, if you're newer um, with selling on eBay. And what that is, is that um, it's item not as described. Now, if you settle those before they close, before that case closed, like if the, either you issue them a refund and they don't return it or you issue the refund and they do return it, I usually have them return the item. If you, As long as you close it, from my understanding, as long as you close it before eBay stay, steps in and makes that decision, then it doesn't, you don't get a defect against your account. But... You know, you just don't want a lot of those items not as described because that's an actual case opened up. The other ones are a return case, but that's a separate one. Anyhow, I have went now uh, with buyer pays returns, and I haven't gotten really any of the... Um, there might have been one item not as described. Now, there was one that I just got that the lady could have from what she's saying. It was a, it was a um, zip-up uh, sweatshirt, and... As far as I know, that sweatshirt zipped up fine. There was no issues with it or anything like that. But she's claiming after she wore it, it wasn't staying zipped or together or something like that. And maybe that's the case because, you know, I hadn't wore that particular item. However, when I get it returned, you know, if she just changed her mind and the zipper works fine, I'll relist it. But she could have opened an item not as described, you know, because I didn't note that, you know, but I didn't know there was any issue with the zipper. But anyhow... Make a long story short, right now, that's how I have it set. Now, you know the last couple months, most everybody has been down in sales. Sales have really been slow, but it's been that way, from my understanding, across the board on all the platforms. You know, sales were lower. However, I have to state, 
especially last night. Last night, I had one of the best-selling days that I've had in quite some time, um, you know, since the slowdown, you know, summer slowdown and all, you know, kind of started slowing down in late spring and then the summer slowdown. Anyhow, I sold, um, it was like, I think over four, I, it was over 450 some dollars um, yesterday, which is really great because lately it's been really low. For a while there, um, when sales were up, it was always like two, three hundred a day average. But then it, you know, went down from there. But yesterday it was that and I was super happy now. A couple items were a little bit more money. A few, you know, fifty, a $50 item, $35 item. You know, there was a few of those mixed in there. However, I was super happy. That was 11 sales. And, uh, but this whole last week, or at least for a week, my sales have really went up. My sales have really increased. Now I have been listing more. I'm trying to return to 20 a day. Um, but the problem I was having too, is I was not getting enough inventory. In fact, I was, um, you know, I, it, that's one of the hard parts is getting enough pieces to list, you know, 20 items, <laughs> excuse me, a day. But I had, you know, I'm really working on that. Now there's one or two days a week where I'm not listing the 20, but right now I'm trying to list around that. Anyhow, I just wanted to do this short video in regards to the weather, you know, the, the no returns versus accepting returns, you know, and things like that. Right now I have it where the buyer pays and I have it on 30 days. Please write in the comments how it's been going for you and what you have tried. Um, and if you'd like, like I said, you can subscribe. I got a lot of other videos up. I have videos up in regards to Poshmark too. And, um, you know, and other videos and eBay, you know, tips and things like that. And thrift hauls and um, things. And, um, it, and also, if you could do me a favor and push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.